okay example 10.20 is also a three mark question so quite simple uh, you get many three marks in binomial distribution they are all very simple to solve as well so they have given you the sum of mean and variance to be given as 4.8 is 4.8 for five trials okay so you know that the mean formula is np and variance formula is npq right for a binomial distribution the sum of these two is given as 4.8 and they have given the value of n as 5 right so let's get started so we have to find the distribution which is basically let's write the formula first p of x equal to x or p of x can be written as ncx p par x q par n minus x where x takes a value of 0 1 whatever up to n right now let's get started so from this equation i am going to take np common i'll get 1 plus q right is equal to 4.8 i know that n is equal to 5 1 plus q is equal to 4.8 so the easiest thing would be to have only one unknown to solve the equation right so but i have two unknowns here p and q so write one unknown in terms of the other so i can write q as 1 minus p right now solve this so you get 5p into 2 minus p is equal to 4.8 now solve this so you get you get 10p minus 5p squared equal to 4.8 so if i'm going to write it as a quadratic equation it would be 5p squared minus 10p plus 4.8 is equal to 0 right now i'm going to divide throughout by p squared i'm sorry 5 so i'm going to divide by 5 so this becomes p squared minus 2p this is why am i dividing it by 5 is basically for simplifying the equation and 4.8 divided by 5 is going to be 0.96 right is equal to z so again i'm going to resolve it by the sum and product method right my sum is minus 2 here and product is 0.96 into coefficient of p squared which is 1 so it is 0.96 so uh, 12 into 8 is going to give me 96 so since i need to get it in the decimal i'm going to say 12 into 0.8 will give me 0.96, and also I need to get a minus 2 here, so I'm going to say minus 0.12 and uh, 1.2 and minus 0.8 is going to be my sum. So I'm going to write this as minus 1.2p and a 0.8p plus 0.96 equal to zero. So if you can do this step quickly. it's well and good i'm expanding this in sum and product method is uh, only for uh, students who are not able to follow it if you know how to do this fine proceed right so now let's take p common it's going to be p minus 1.2 and here i'm going to take 0.8 outside so it'll again be is equal to 0 so i'll get p into P minus 0.8 into P minus 1.2 is equal to zero. Therefore, I get P equal to 0.8 or P is equal to 1.2. But I'm going to take only P is equal to 0.8 because P should be less than one, right? It cannot be greater than one. So I'm going to take P is equal to 0.8. and obviously if p is equal to 0.8 you know that q is going to be equal to 0.2 because p plus q should give you 1 therefore substitute it in your p of x equal to x is equal to ncx ns5 
phi c x p is 0 0.8 p power x q is 0 0.2 into phi minus x where x takes the values of 0 1 up to 5 up to n right you can stop the answer with this that's all so the only thing that is complex in this sum and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I can call it complex is this step where you have to solve for p otherwise it's quite a simple sum